we're done with that we need to go back into our package manager and now we need to just uninstall it and we need to make sure also that's going to uninstall the other things we need to search for Apache 2.m uh, PM Okay, yeah, it's right here. Mark for removal. That'll be fun. And uh, let me see. Lib. One other thing. Actually, two dot mod. Dash All right, and it's already marked for installation. And then we click apply. All right. We should be done in this. So we'll close that out. Next, we need to do a change mo uh, mode. So seven and to opt well, tc php dot ini enter. All right. Now we need to go to that file and open it. So we'll go to computer. File system uh, opt lamp etc. and then open php.ini with text editor and then uh, we need to add an extension here so I'm just going to scroll down usually it's somewhere about midways and then right here type add extension equals ffmpeg.so put an extra space there and we click uh, save on this that's alright we'll save anyways now we'll go uh, go ahead and minimize this and we want to start Apache or start XAMPP Go ahead and use restart in case you already had it running. All right. Now we're going to open up our browser real quick and we're going to double check and make sure that loaded right. Go to local host XAMPP. And then we're going to check our PHP info. We'll scroll down and we're looking for that right there so that means it's successfully installed it'll be in between EXIF and then filter and you can see now we have a uh, ffmpeg.php enabled so we're good to go there now let's move on to installing the rest of the components we need to uh, Okay, we'll go back to our package manager again. And next we're going to install our M player. Uh, oops. That's right here. Mark for installation. That'll be fine. And then we also need a min coder. So we'll go ahead and mark it as well. And next we want to find, uh, oh, okay. Next we want to find FLV tool 2. Mark for installation. And then we're going to go ahead and click OK. Uh, oh, click Apply. And Apply.
Also, if you didn't, if you want to check and make sure that you have the uh, GD2 package installed, we'll go ahead and do that while that's installing. Go local host. Down. You just look here. Scroll down. Look for G. This these are in alphabetical order, by the way. And right here, so you got GD, and then you look here at the uh, free type. That's version two, so that means you do have the second version. Or well, it's right here too. GD version is two, so you do have that. So you're good to go on that. It's just finishing downloading and now let's go ahead and install these. Now that's it's done, you've uh, successfully installed all of the uh, things that you needed to install. That wasn't too hard, was it?